it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, guys. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. And today we are going to talk about uh, sometimes how you just have to nope out of things. <laughs> just have to nope out of things. What does that mean? Well, you look at the situation on the map, you look at the situation on your flank, and you just say, nope, not going to work. It's a fine line, though. Sometimes you can bail out of a flank that you kind of needed to stay on, maybe keep an eye on, that kind of thing. I'm already sort of seeing what's going on on this particular match as I head up here to about C1. So let's take a look at the tanks that we've got now that you can see the deployment starting here. It's a tier 8 battle, uh, 7 and 6. I'm middle tier in my T23 E3 medium tank, nice fast tank. There's a 7501K, a Nomad, and a Black Print, or a, sorry, a 7501K and a Nomad in terms of tier 8s, and we have a 130 and a Skoda. The Skoda decides to go down and fight on the peninsula. I'd much rather him come over here, but I do understand why you would take a heavy down on the peninsula. And to be honest, it's a crapshoot in the match like this. Where do they send their heavies? I, we don't know yet. So unless we get some intel on that pretty quickly, we're not going to have a good idea what's going on. So my plan with my fast tank and looking at the, at the threats, right? So they don't really have super fast hold down tanks that I'm extremely afraid of where I might meet them here, so, or just a super fast tank. Let's talk like a Barask. Let's say they had a Barask. I probably wouldn't want to go up here because if he tops this hill at the same time I do, I'm going to lose that exchange in a big way, right? But as I look over there, I'm not that afraid of the things that they have in terms of speed or in terms of being able to take me out. In fact, I can probably give as good as I can get. Honestly, the worst thing I could probably run into is the VZ-131. I have a good chance of bouncing him and he's probably going to pen me. My plan though, as you can see, I have very little help coming with me, is to look down the one column and then make my decision. So let's see what happens. Come on up here, we'll see if we can get a shot. Use this bush if you can. You do need some decent depression to make that happen. Take a quick look and, oh, oh, okay. Now that was a mistake, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't till right here that there was a Pollack there as well. I could have easily put shots on him, but I missed the fact that he was there, and I didn't see him till then, right there. So very late to get a shot on him, that's unfortunate. And, oop, oh boy, and another possibility on a Hellcat. So I've probably worn out my welcome here, to be honest, and holy macaroni, I don't even have somebody sitting back here as a sniper. Not that a 3045 was gonna do me much good against a 7201 or 7501, so let's just look at this and say, nope. We're gonna nope out of this thing. There's there's no reason to sit on this flank. I don't have any help. Maybe the Artie, maybe the Su-100 sitting way back there, maybe the Su-130 kind of thing, but I'm probably just gonna die here, so we're gonna bail out of this thing. I'm gonna head on back and really hope that the Skoda can do some work and that at some point we can kind of fall back and maybe maul these guys if they push in. Now the first option is to stop here. Not a great option, guys. There's just, I don't have any help. There's no, nobody gonna be able to shoot. So I get anchored here and he comes over that hill. Maybe I eat a shot in the turret because I'm poking and peeking. But if he starts coming down this hill, it's gonna be hard for me to get away without being seen. And based on what I'm seeing here, we have an M6 and a setter that's gone down into the pit. We've just completely lost that flank, fellas. There's, I'm noping out of this thing. I have no reason to stick around. I'm gonna knock this down so they don't have cover from it at least. And we're gonna just go back to the cap. Best plan that I can come up with at the moment. If they do start pushing around that corner down there, I'm really hoping that 304 will run. But we're just gonna come back here, get behind some trees, knock a few things down to build a bit of a nest. Probably could have knocked a few more down. I think I actually do here. Nope, I don't. And wait it out, fellas. Sometimes that's the best you can do. Could have maybe swung over to the other flank and kept going, but I really felt like the enemy team was going to find nobody on this flank, and I would not be surprised if they started to push in. So we're going to look for potential shots here. Sniper-wise, the 7501 looks like he's just continuing to push. And now the 3485M is there. We've got a Hellcat. We'll look for shots on this guy, maybe. No, not quite. We've got a WZ. Oh, look at this. We've got Hellcats. All right, so we got the double Hellcats going to show up here. There's one, and then his buddy shows up there. So we'll look for shots on these guys. There we go. It's unfortunate that the 304 did not run. 
who takes a big hit and dies. I do get lit there, that sucks. And I thought about staying up there for a moment. We'll back out so I don't take that huge hit from this 7501. And now we're just going to try to hold these dudes off as best we can. This guy makes a mistake. He just pushes in. I'll take it. Thank you very much. We'll kill him off. That works. And honestly, we've talked about this multiple times on the channel. When it looks like your flank is completely won and you just want to push into the cap and put pressure. We have a bunch of campers back here. Not a great idea from the enemy team. The Su-130 is doing some decent work there, although he's about to die. For shots on him. There we go. You just keep on working. So we just nope out of that flank, my friends. I did eat a 511 from the 7501, unfortunately. And there he is with lots of hit points. I'm just trying to find shots wherever I can get him. If he can turn his turret to me a little bit for the 7501 or the very side of the tank, I can get some shots in there. I might have gone. Might have been better going for the side of the turret there. Like, where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. I go for a lower plate. All right. Got lucky there. With the APCR, I do have some capability to pen the lower plate. So you get a little green indicator. Not amazing though, right? And it has to be right on that lower plate. And depending on his angle, he might actually put a worse angle on it for me. So I'm just going to wait till we get something green. There we go. Pollack does a nice job, but he eats that 500. The Skoda keeps pushing. That's unfortunate. I really wish he'd have come back. You'll see him move around through the whole, the whole map there. Now I'm just going to keep him tracked. I really wish I'd have gone to my regular rounds. There we go. So we get actually get a turret shot. He puts that turret to the side there. I thought I might have had another one there as he was turning that. Nope, doesn't look like it. We're just holding on here, fellas. All we're, all we're trying to do here is hold on as long as we can. Maybe track this guy, kill his buddies if they keep getting lit. Wait till some of our TDs come around and help us out a little bit. We find the T-37, can't quite get a shot on him. Digger Max is nice and soft. We'll work on him if we can. There we go. Put a shot on him, that works. I'm just going to courtesy back up. I don't seem to be getting lit, but when you get into a situation like this where there's a lot of different angles and tanks coming around, just because you shot the first time and weren't lit doesn't mean you'll shoot again depending on where they move and what angle they get on you. So even in situations like this, I'll start doing some courtesy backups. Also, I'm looking at that 7501 kind of pointing in my direction with his gun, maybe thinking about that blind shot. I've hit him multiple times. He knows more or less where I am. So I would not be surprised if he took some, some blind shots at me right here. Now I'm going to look for a, a track if I can. There's 70, the T-56, the Skoda has at least gone back there and found their artillery. Because they pushed in unwisely, we were able to sort of shred them with, with sort of inferior tanks, to be honest, over here. A bunch of our tier 6s and me the tier 7. So I've been able to crank up a thousand damage. I'm like, all right, show me some side here if you can, my friend. Not quite. And can we sneak one in here? All right, we got a crit damage on the tracks. Nice. And now we're going to keep on working on his tracks right here. Try to keep him pinned down as long as possible. Maybe the Artie will get a piece of him. Maybe somebody will be able to move around him. To be honest, I think what I really needed to do here was push forward. Let's talk about that for a second. I, I was in a very defensive crouch right now, to be honest. I don't e I don't remember, and I'm pretty sure I didn't know at this part of the game how far ahead we were. I was still just trying to pin down the 7501, but the best move really for me here was to come around the right side here and go right up the blue line, probably push out the T-37 if he was still hiding in here, and come around behind the 7501. So missed opportunity. That might get me lit there. Nope. Just trying to keep him tracked so he's pinned down. We're not going to get a pen out of that thing. There will be some assist there potentially if I'm able to get the uh, the track on him. There we go. Got him tracked. Let's see if we get that last little bit out of him. I don't remember. He's the last guy. There we go. And so 70 more assists. So we get 1,000 damage, 842 assists. Missed opportunity to be more aggressive much earlier in this game to come out of this. Decent hit points and start shooting the guy in the back and causing him more issues right there. So that's bad on me, but just want to show this. Sometimes you just have to nope out of the situation that you're in, fall back, and then do a better job than I just did in realizing that things have turned back your way and you can come out from your little nest back there and start fighting. 
So I try not to miss those cues as much as possible. I did on this one, unfortunately, but we did end up winning. The only thing I'll say for the Skoda is he did take on what the Black Prince and a few other tanks over there, and he did end up killing the artillery. But I really wish when he had kind of won that peninsula that he had come back, and I think we had eaten these guys up faster. But as it was, it ended up working out. Sometimes, fellas, just remember, have a plan of action. My plan was to go down there at C1, take a peek. I knew I didn't have any backup because I was paying attention to the deployment. Started to fall back, went, well, my first fallback position is untenable. I can't hold that. Keep on going. And then I was able to bring enough guns in from the other angles and the guys that were kind of sitting around in the middle and camping. And we basically tear apart their push. An early unwise push, once again, torn apart by people who are smart enough to fall back a little bit and bring in the guns that are sitting in the back of the map. All right, there you go. Remember, sometimes you just have to nope out of it. That's all I've got. We will see you.